Hey guys, Xroot here, and today we have another AVA gameplay, this time playing Escort on the map Scorpion. Typically the map that I play always when I play Scorpion, this guy is camping right in the corner. I didn't see him because I wasn't paying attention and I died, woo, to let my teammate get some. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is actually a pretty good gameplay. Uh, I had, I just got it actually, and I was doing a live com over it, but then I saw that the gameplay is louder than the commentary, and so I guess I just started, I, I decided to do a normal commentary instead of a live commentary, but uh, today we are going to be reviewing the G36, and gonna have a little bit of channel updates and updates on my gaming life, I guess, um... I actually have been playing AVA and Team Fortress 2 a lot lately. Uh, usually I play Team Fortress 2. Uh, I've been playing AVA also. I have actually SFC 2 about to be SFC 3. Um, I know what you guys might be saying if you guys play AVA. That that's a very low level and stuff. But I actually don't play AVA as often as some people do. Uh, some people actually just play this game 24-7. That's not me. I actually play just a little bit. Um, that's... Mainly because I have Team Fortress 2 to play, and I have some other stuff. Um, I've just gotten a Pyromancer's Mask for in Team Fortress 2, and, which is awesome. I actually didn't know that there's styles for paints, and uh, I actually put on a paint, and it looked awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, how have you guys been? Um, I've actually been good. Gamer life is awesome. Uh, played AVA for quite a while lately, and... Uh, gotten some actually good clips that I was going to do a montage on, but they were with the UMP, and I don't know if you guys want to see that. Um, I've gotten some triples, and then I got this one epic fail where I shot the guy, oh, connection, <laughs> where I shot the guy, um, what was it, five, six times, and then he just turns around quickly and gets a no scope on me, and I was pissed, but I was also laughing too because I was like, wow, luck. But anyway, um, the G36 rail, actually, this is the modified version of the G36, and to get the modified version of the G36, all you have to do is buy the G36, and then when you go into your inventory, here I was lagging badly, that's why I stopped, um, when you go into your inventory, right next to the repair button, you should see a modification button, or modify, um, when you click modify, it costs, I think, three and a half thousand dollars to modify this weapon, and then when you modify, it turns into G36 rail, and you can customize it, you know, yourself, instead of using the stock G36, um, things, I don't even know what to call them, uh, trigger and scope and stuff like that. Not, I'm not saying that the, the stock G36 sucks ass, but it, I, I, I like the G36 rail just a little bit better because you can uh, customize the uh, the rate of fire and all that other good stuff and that's mainly what I look for in a gun is uh, rate of fire, stability, and accuracy. Um, power is good also but I actually like rate of fire a little bit better because you can actually kill people faster. Uh, some people may have different arguments about that. Um, but that's just my two cents on it. You guys can say whatever. I don't care. Well, I, I kind of do care. Just leave a comment below telling me what you guys prefer, rate of fire or damage. That's a common question of the day. Um, anyway, back to the review of the G36 rail. Uh, the accuracy is very good. You can actually get some very, very nice shots across the map of the G36 rail. Um, I've been getting some headshots, pretty good headshots from far away with this without recording because when I record, I run at 30 FPS. When I don't, it's like 45, so I get uh, better accuracy with my weapons and all that other good stuff. Um, the G36 power is actually very, very high. Uh, it's just under the power of the AUG and four points below the normal AK-47, which in my opinion is actually very good. Um, the AK-47 is the, I think, the, no, 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 never mind. I was going to say it's the most powerful weapon in the game, but the AK-47 Hawkeye is better because it does 41 damage instead of 39, so that is a little bit better. I think there's another AK-47 variant. It's just, I think it's like silver, but I'm not 100% sure because I haven't checked out the shop lately. Uh, all I do is go on there, buy a gun that I've been wanting to buy, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, I actually have the AUG, or not the AUG, the UMP that I want to do a review on, which is also a very, very good SMG. Uh, it does 34 damage close range, which is awesome. But anyway, back to the G36. Uh, the damage on this gun is a 4 to 5 shot kill. It's a 3 shot kill to the back, 4 to on a normal Vester, or a uh, anti-charge Vester, and 5 shot kill to the front, um, and 4 shot kill to the back on a large caliber Vester. And that's pretty much like the juggernaut of this game, is large caliber Vests. Here's my epic fail. Look at this. <laughs> and then I unbelievably run away. I'm like, oh, I'm going to knife you. Nope. And then he starts killing me, and I stop sprinting for some reason. And I keep on trying, and then, then somebody gets a headshot on me, and I just run away. That was the most luckiest runaway that I've ever had in my entire AVA gameplay thing. Uh, I usually do that uh, rush. I go through the building, and then I jump out of the window and try to get some kills. I actually got... Four kills uh, with one of those. Uh, you guys will see it in this video. Um, luck to you. Just got lucked, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, the fire rate on this weapon is actually pretty awesome, too. And that's what I look for, like I said before. I look for fire rate. And uh, it's all right for an assault rifle. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. And the portability on this gun is actually way better than the than the AK-47. Uh, it's about more than average, but not like amazing for assault rifles. Um, the fastest assault rifle, uh, I think, is the RX-4 Storm. Uh, it is very unbelievably fast, and it comes with an integrated silencer. Who doesn't like integrated silencers? Um, and it's an assault rifle, and it has really, like, a very small reticle. That is my next gun that I'm going to review. Well, actually, I'm going to review the UMP, and then I'm going to review the RX-4 Storm, because I need to get G-Coins first, and I'm going to get them about next week, uh, close to next week, or the middle of June, uh, because or G-Coins, because my dad is going to be sending me $50, and I'm going to buy two weapons. Um, those weapons being the... Ah, the RX-4 Storm, and I'm gonna try my best to get a Bumblebee. I'm just gonna spend $10 on it. I'm not gonna spend, like, $30 and then not get shit, so that's why I'm just gonna spend $10. And with the rest of the money, I'm gonna buy a EXP for 7 days, uh, EXP boost, because I wanna level up pretty quickly. And I also, I'm also gonna get the... Uh, SG-552 Commando and modify it. Uh, the SG-552 Commando is actually a very, very good weapon. Uh, it's an SMG, uh, in my opinion, the best SMG in the game. Uh, some other people might be saying, oh, the Bison Arachnid is better, or something like that. But in my opinion, it, the best SMG is the SG-552 Commando, which I can actually do a... Uh, a review on right now if I wanted to because I have it on a different account uh, but I don't want to do it I want to get it on this account so I'm gonna try to level up as quickly as possible or ASAP and then I'm gonna do a review on it on this account here I don't reload for some reason and then I finally reload and when I get back in there I get killed amazing but this gameplay is, is actually coming to a close pretty quickly uh, it was a pretty quick game, in my opinion, for Scorpion Escort. Uh, there there has been quicker gameplays and stuff, but uh, it's the second fastest one that I've gotten ever. Uh, the fastest one was four, like, I think four minutes. But whatever, that's the, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and 